Hello everyone, it is Thanksgiving Eve, the night before Thanksgiving, and all through the house, are you cooking? What are you doing? Don't don't cook a mouse. Um, we will be looking at another menu today. It is the day before Thanksgiving. Also, please subscribe. Please subscribe. If you could subscribe, that would be great. Um, because if you do that, my channel can grow. I need you to help me grow the channel. Uh, all the time I try to shrink me, but I want to grow it, you know, so, um, but today is the day before Thanksgiving. For those of you who celebrate, happy Thanksgiving. Um, some people are saying now we shouldn't celebrate Thanksgiving. We should call it truth giving or I don't know, something on the news this morning that we need to tell the truth about Thanksgiving. I don't know. I, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, if you can subscribe, that'd be great. We're going to look at, since we just did... El Polo Loco, which is supposed to be like a Mexican style chicken. There's also another one out here that's not Mexican. It's, um, I can't remember they're called, but they're, I can't remember where they're from. They're, it's a, like a Spanish type of a name. T, I, don't, I don't know, but it's not Mexican. A lot of people think, of people think it is. There's, a, there's another chicken place out there that is not Mexican, but it has uh, kind of like the same type of stuff, charbroiled with seasoning. But since we did a, a Mexican chicken place, let's do a taco place now this is is it mexican taco um i don't know it's asking me to find tacos near me today in columbus ohio i'm in monrovia california so hopefully this will work okay i don't know why it's doing that uh, because they're not headquartered out there they're headquartered out of orange county california as far as i know um, once again they were bought uh in the same group of, of kfc and Pizza Hut, um, they also Fritos, it's Frito Lay Company, uh, Pepsi, and all that's all was under that one big uh, umbrella. But this is not authentic, you know, go to Mexico and eat authentic food. Also, they say if you do go to Mexico to eat food, the border towns have more of a, um, usually if it's bordering the United States, will have more of a American styled Mexican food. You have to kind of go deeper into the country to get real authentic style Mexican food. Maybe we don't. That's no good. Um, maybe we don't like authentic style Mexican food. Who, who knows? Um, maybe we only like that kind of stuff. I don't know why the tripod just knocked that off in there. Let's put it back on for a second. Yeah, we had a, oh, one of the legs twisted. It's on that octopus one. So anyway, um, yeah, so back to what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Um, that this is a Mexican style, the American style Mexican food called Taco Bell. I'm going to go and pause it after that big disaster of uh, the, the phone falling and all that. Uh, we will take a look. One second, I'm going to go and pause and turn it around. Okay, here we go, Taco Bell. And like I said, they think I'm in Columbus, Ohio. I'm going to have, they have a problem with their locator or something. I know they said Spotify was down earlier. They're having problems with location and favorites or something like that. I don't know. I don't have Spotify. It was just on the radio talking about that. But since it is Taco Bell, we'll look at tacos first. Once again, like I always say, I'm going to probably won't look at the the value. Well, I mean, we'll look at the value. I mean, the value is probably just other items at other places. But we'll take a look. Um, at that with Taco Bell. Taco Bell didn't used to have French fries, so you'd have to go to Del Taco, which is smaller, and they were out of Fresno, California, I think. Was it Fresno or Bakersfield? I think Fresno. Fresno? I don't know. Baker, California. I don't know. It's somewhere near here um, in California on the way to the Vegas area, I guess is what they said. Is it, it might be Barstow. But anyway, so um, they didn't have French fries because they want to be an authentic Mexican place. Well, now they do have French fries from time to time with some kind of a breading on it. So let's take a look at tacos. And once again, this is what I uh, could eat, would eat, may eat, or whatever. So tacos, once again, same thing. It's gonna have the uh, the shell. So I don't know which one is better. Um, we're looking at that on on El Polo Loco. Is it gonna be the flour tortilla or the corn tortilla? I don't know which is better. And here's some of the different options. Um, the basic taco just has the, the lettuce and the cheese. Um, and they have a spicy potato. They were, they were, they were, they were said they didn't have much vegan or vegetarian options. I think these are vegetarian. Well, that's probably vegetarian because it's got cheese. Um, if, so I don't know if you just got it with no cheese. Also the sauce, so maybe it's not vegan. But they also have this one here, the black bean chalupa, which is a vegetarian item. So now they have two within their tacos. Um, once again, with calories, uh, if you're on a caloric situation here, these might be a little bit more. They have um, these... Uh, Crunch, crunch. It's got a, uh, it's got the hard shell and the flour shell and cheese in between. So that might be high in calories. Um, let's see how much. Oh yeah, 500 calories versus what's the basic taco? 
180. So yeah, it's going to have more. So just you got to be aware. A lot of people say, well, I can have a couple of tacos. Well, a couple of tacos, as you can see, can have a lot of different varieties to it. You know, uh, is it good for... Um, good for losing weight is it good for reducing blood sugar or on a diet to reduce blood sugar uh, I don't know um, so remember this is what I would do so what I would do with these uh, what I did before when with some places that would have like three tacos for uh it would be three tacos for you know three dollars or three tacos for 269 or something like that I would just put all three tacos in one shell I would just get rid of all the I just dump everything like this so for example I would dump all this into one tortilla so I'd have three taco fillings in one taco shell so that's what I could do for, for carbs. I'm not saying to eat at Taco Bell every day. Combos, this is what they have in the way of combos. Uh, yeah, once again, combos, they do have quite a bit of nighttime stuff. So does, uh, you know, um, uh, so, so some of the other ones, so like, like Jack in the Box and all the other like night deals. These are just groups of, of tacos. They did bring back their bun taco, which they call it. They have a name for it. I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's some kind of like a taco and a bun. People like that. That is a little bit more bread than a shell. Taco shell probably. Um, they, these are the fries that they brought in. We'll look at that inside some more. But the same kind of thing with the drinks. Once again, I would probably, this is Lipton nice tea. This is the drink I would get. Uh, they do have Pepsi products because they're a Pepsi company. Um, some of these, um, one, one thing, some of these Dole ones or different ones of these, that this variety, uh, it'll, it'll say Dole. So people think, oh, it's just like a carbonated fruit, fruit juice. Uh, kind of a thing. So you have to kind of look at that. Is that, is that what it is? I don't know. Um, uh, the brisk lemonades, the flavored lemonades, I don't want to get those. Um, the ones that have flavoring in them, like the ones that are mixed with lemonade, that kind of stuff. No, I don't get that. Uh, these are cinnamon, so I don't, I don't get that. So of these, um, if they allow substitutions, I don't know if they do, or modifications, I'm not sure. So um, we won't go into all, yeah, was online exclusives. Let's see. Yeah, just those are more special. Let's see what's new there. Yeah, their fries, they brought back their fries. Okay, they have all these, like the top sections all fries. Um, uh, their french fries, they have, it has some kind of a nacho, some, some, like a, some kind of a, um, a, a coating to them. And you can dip them in this sauce. Um, I guess they try to say we're, we're, we're authentic because of that. They have the craving boxes, which are only $5. And if that comes with three three tacos, the, the cinnamon things, that, that's not a bad deal for $5 price-wise. Uh, but you have to look into that. Um, they have these roll-up things uh del taco had those as well um so um and then they just have this the large amounts and then they have the frog the wild strawberry cream delight for a dollar um and this one too so uh those are specials price wise but once again like i said i don't know what those are all about burritos um the one i used to always get they don't really they, they don't have the menu more which was just the beef burrito uh and it was just beef and cheese okay like the traditional um, uh, American style burrito. Here's a vegetarian one. Um, bean burritos. Remember these were 99 cents very, very recently. 179 now. So prices have gone way up. Uh, on these, same kind of thing. It would be mostly the tortilla. I'd have to find out about the beans. Um, you'd have to find out about the beans too. Um, that's a good indication that the beans are vegetarian. Some uh, refried beans, they do use lard and they do not use it here. And I don't think they use it at Del Taco as well. So it depends on your dietary needs. Now, if, if, if you're on a low calorie diet, a lot of these ones with the extra cheese and the, um, and, and all that, um, uh, they might be something you do not want to get. Um, so on these, I would just get the regular plain burrito. It'd be one taco shell. I mean, one burrito, um, tortilla, and that. Um, that's what I used to get. I, I, I don't eat here very often. Uh, especially back in those are the fries now this came back to remember that everyone's more of the Mexican pizza they the veggie Mexican pizza now they used to not have it you'd have to get it with beans versus the meat I know that because my friend is a vegetarian uh, a cheesy roll-up vegetarian just cheese it was like, kind of like a quesadilla type of a situation I don't know what's going on there it might just be cheese and the tortilla like a rolled up quesadilla their quesadillas here are a little spicy um, some people like a quesadilla with just the cheese um, and not too much extra spice, but they do have a little spice to their cheese sauce they use on their quesadilla. And then they, you, I think you can also get one with jalapenos. That's size and sweet, so let's look at that just for different size. Okay, um, yeah, they do have the way you can get the, the beans. It's the black beans. This is the one that they used to be, it really used to be a cardboard kind of a thing. And people really used to like that a lot. Um, once again, you have to find out what's in it. Uh, so this one's like cheesy potatoes. That's going to be high in carbs. This, uh, you know, same thing. Cinnamon twist, of course. <laughs> and uh, these, although they look delicious, uh, Cinnabon, they're, they're, they're also with Cinnabon. Remember, so was, um, so was Pizza Hut. And that makes sense because Pizza Hut and they were the same company. Then they had the sauces. 
nacho sauce and all these different sauces. So once again, with the sauce, um, what is in there, we know the sauces probably come like this. Uh, maybe they go like that. I don't know. Oh, those are 85 cents. So yeah, they do go like that. So um, you have the regular, just the like the taco type hot sauce. And then you can get some of these specialty ones. Um, and I don't know much about those. I know that if they have anything sweet in it, it's going to be high, <laughs> high there. This red sauce looks like it's kind of almost like a barbecue sauce. So that might be, uh, if it is barbecue sauce, that's probably have a lot of sugar. Craving value menu. We kind of went over that again. Quesadillas. Uh, yeah, they have the, the, the chicken quesadilla, the steak quesadilla, just the cheese. Those are pretty expensive. Um, and I can't remember. I think they were pretty big. I have gotten this before. I got this. Um, went to my coupon for a, a, a free or half off or something. Drinks. I think we already looked at the drinks mostly on the combos, but let's take a look. Uh, like I said, they are a Pepsi company. So no, none of this for me. None of that. None of this. <laughs> this is, uh, for me, it would be all the way down. Uh, just to this or this and I'm not gonna pay for water I usually I, maybe you do I don't know uh, then they have the different flavored iced teas so I, I, that's 80 calories out since I'm not worried about calories uh, I'm more about carbs so these have 110 this is 80 this is 80 for the the dole so those might be um, that, that might be high in sugar too I don't know um, I'm not sure if you get zero zero calories so if you are on a caloric diet of course Nice tea, unsweet might be your best bet. Um, then they have orange juice, they have coffee. I think they, I think they only have coffee during the, um, during the breakfast time. I was working for the U.S. Census and it was cold outside, and I wanted to get a coffee. And I was set up right across the street from a Taco Bell, so I ran over there to ask for the coffee. And she said, oh, "We don't have it. Only we don't we don't, we don't have it at lunchtime." So I don't know if that's changed now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Nachos probably gonna be the same situation. Yeah, nachos, uh, same kind of thing. It's it, 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 it for a treat maybe, but you know, um, the 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 chips and cheese is not very exciting. Looks like he's got chips with that cheese sauce. You have to dip it yourself. It looks like the Bel Grande nachos has a lot more stuff to it. Uh, groups, I don't think we're. Yeah, this is a big just groupings of the same kind of food. Now, for those of you that are vegetarian, look at all these options they have. They used to just have like the bean burrito. Um, or you could ask for beans in place of the beef. Um, so I don't know if these are vegan. These look like they're only vegetarian. You'd have to ask about vegan. So I don't know how many vegans watch these. I'm not sure. My dog, i cute, she started barking. There's a new dog in the neighborhood. And you know, when you get a new dog, you're really excited, you walk it all the time, and what you should do always anyhow, but they're excited. Quiet! But they like to bark together it's a younger dog and my dog's old but she, she loves that dog to bark at him we'll be wrapping up here and you have you have bowls you have two different kind of bowls looks like you know like kind of, kind of like a salad type of a situation they used to have salads i don't know if they do maybe these are to the place of the salads breakfast i've never been here for breakfast I, I, like i said i try to get coffee during the day um during the afternoon but they didn't have it and these are just some of the breakfast items um a lot of these ones they don't they don't have a grill that means they're not making the eggs there they're you know they're probably they're frozen or refrigerated and they just heat them up um i'm not sure how they make these um but i know that they didn't have a grill before they may have a flat top now i don't know um hash browns of course i'll stay away from this stuff right here coffee yes and oh, what, oh these, these iced coffees i don't really like them too much but they have cinnamon of course it's probably gonna have obviously more calories uh, and this has 10 calories versus the zero calorie the one for the hot coffees so i don't know what's up with that they might have some kind of like a cream in there or something like that breakfast salsa um, and that's it. Wow. Uh, this didn't take very long at all. This is uh, Taco Bell. Taco Bell, uh, which is a Mexican style, American style Mexican food. This is also the Ohio menu, it looks like. It thinks I, I'm there. So maybe the other menus have more op options. I don't really know. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. Have a happy happy, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, also, the, on the channel, I'm posting some of the more, most popular videos lately so i like watching views but i don't really know what to look for that's where you can click on one of the playlists if you like something um on there based on something uh or i'll start pop the most popular ones i'm just going down the line and i'm putting those on the channel uh and you can just click on popular uh, videos i'm doing i'm trying to do six long videos and four shorts of ones i posted before a lot of those i deal with my walk last year which is almost a year and a few days it's the 22nd right now last year this time it was eight days before my walking challenge um I mean, I'm sorry, not eight days, eight days before it ended. It was the, it was right around, uh, right before Halloween, I had the idea of doing this challenge for my 61st birthday. Today's my, this will be my 62nd birthday. It's in eight days, still plenty of time to mail a card. If you want to mail me a greeting card, I put the address out there. Everybody have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Take care.